Welcome, my name is Marcus Landis Gardner, and I work for www.adreamforbetterworld.com, the first educational website dedicated to fighting atrocities in the world. Today's topic, Logarithms Part 8. This is the last of an eight-part video designed to be watched with this free workbook, Logarithms Workbook. If you do not have the workbook, stop this video now and get your free workbook from www.adreamforbetterworld.com. This series of videos, working with basic logarithms, will help you be able to solve many types of logarithms. This video series does have some prerequisites. You need to know exponents and fractions, plus you should have finished the first seven videos and done the problems in the workbook for the first seven videos. What will we cover today? Putting it all together, part B. In the following examples, we will continue seeing how we can solve more complicated problems using what we have learned so far. In this last video, we will only cover one type of problem, and that is using approximations to solve logarithms. Let us begin with assuming log base A of 2 is 1.1, log base A of 3 is 1.5, and we want to find out what the log base A of 108 is. So we reduce log base A of 108 into log base A of 27 plus log base A of 4. 27 can be changed into 3 cubed and 4 is 2 squared. Now we use properties of logarithms to put the 3 and 2 in front which gives us what we need as we know what the log base A of 2 is as well as the log base A of 3. So all we do now is substitute and reduce and we get the log base A of 108 is 6.7. Let us look at a tougher problem. To make this problem simpler to pronounce, let's make the base to be A to be understood. So if I say log of 2, I mean log base A of 2, just to make this problem a little easier to pronounce. So again, we will make the assumptions the log of 2 is 1.1, log of 3 is 1.5, log of 5 is 2.1, log of 7 is 2.3. Let me reiterate, these log values are fictitious, only to help me teach you how to solve these types of problems. Now, we will reduce this log into two different logs using the fact that the log of A over B equals log of A minus log of B. Remembering that the cube root of 63 is the same thing as 63 to the one-third power, then bringing the one-third to the front and doing the same thing with the fifth root of 280. Now we break down the log of 63 into the log of 7 plus the log of 9, and we break down the log of 280 into the log of 5, plus log of 7 plus log of 8 because 5 times 7 times 8 is 280. Now we can change the log of 9 into the log of 3 squared and the log of 8 into the log of 2 cubed. Now we can put the 2 down in front and the 3 down in front. Now we can substitute log of 2, 3, 5, and 7 to get our final value of approximately 0 0.2267. Okay. I think you know enough to work on the eighth and final section of problems in the workbook. But remember, no cheating! Don't look at the answers until you try the problems. You will learn nothing if you look at the answers before you try the problems. Give the problems a try. And then if you're still having problems, the answers are in the back, are written step by step. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please tell others about it. While these videos are short, they do take a long time to create. I love to educate people, but I do need some donations to keep these doing more of these videos. If you would like to make a donation to either help us create more educational products or to help us continue getting the word out to fight different atrocities in the world, then make your donation using PayPal to donation at adreamforbetterworld.com. Check out our website www.adreamforbetterworld.com and comment on our forum and blog. Also on our website you will find many free educational software, videos, and books. Check them out. If you have any comments, please send them to me at comments at adreamforbetterworld.com. Together we can make this a much better world. Thank you very much for watching.